Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Shirk and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so first things first, um, I had a bit of a day and so I needed to <laughs> unwind um, and kind of have like a feel good game. So this is why we are playing Lake. Uh, this is a game where you're basically, it's set in 1986, uh, you play a woman uh, from who goes back to her hometown to take over her father's mail route for two weeks. Um, and yeah, so you basically kind of reunite with characters that you haven't seen in 20 years and kind of get, and it's a neat little game. I played the demo on my own. That's why it says continue uh, earlier this week. And it was kind it was pretty kind of relaxing. And the great thing is there's no right or wrong way to play which I love. Uh, you just make the decisions you make and that's it, you know? Um, and, oh God. The demo was a lot of fun. It was kind of laid back, relaxing, which I kind of need. Um, and it's about to be my busy time at work and the holidays are coming up <laughs> and it seems like there's constantly a bill. Ugh. So I think we could all relate. Let's have something nice, relaxing and just play and chill out so th the one thing about it though is there's a lot of driving and if you're if you are not familiar <laughs> with this channel or haven't been here long enough um, I do not like driving in video games I think it's a pain in the butt and I can't I, there's supposed to be a way you could do it someone said you could do an autopilot but I didn't have that in the demo and I don't see it here so whatever we'll start a new game we'll just do that one yes we'll override it because I've already played and I didn't record I was just playing to play to make sure I like the game so here we go God, I remember when computers looked like that. <laughs> or computer screen, should I say. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is a reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. Uh, oh, and I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Excuse me. Hello? There it is, Steve. I uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Hold on. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's there awesome. Is. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, 
Why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. <laughs> so, minus the big mountain, this kind of looks like the lake my dad grew up on, which is kind of cool. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay, so like I said, I did play the demo, which is basically like an hour, the first hour, I think, of the game. Ooh, interesting. So I did play like, the, like I said, I played the demo, which is like the first hour. Um, Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. Wow. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Looks like my lawn. <laughs> Bing bong. Nope. No answer. Excuse me. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Especially in 86. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, boo. Before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Fine, Adios. Thanks. Excuse me, I am so sorry. J. Binky. Okay. Winifred? Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. Give it about 30 I'll years. Again soon. Oh, 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 one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Ooh. Bye. Never had blueberry pie. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. Whew. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. 
I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Thank oh, you. I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Okay. So what's funny is when I played the demo, <laughs> my stupid ass, the first package is like right here at the beginning. And I just parked on the road. This is why I hate driving levels. I wanna where's the auto shut up. Okay. I did it in the road and then like there's a huge backup of cars. We're on Main Street, right? I don't think there's anything else. Uh E. First off, I love a little town like this. Where everything's can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. Oof. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. Smoking in the general store. if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Well, you're in the Pacific Northwest. Isn't that kind of standard? I've never been there. Okay. Is that the one I need? Er, is I driving your grass? I don't know if anyone remembers this, but there was a. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. I don't know if anyone remembers the game. Um, Paperboy. It's a very, very old school game from back in the day, but. You basically, it's kind of what it reminds me of, is you basically run around and deliver newspapers. I'm actually enjoying this. Yeah. Okay. I want autopilot because I fucking hate driving <laughs> in video games. I don't know what it is. And they have a whole, what is it now? They have this whole, like, truck driver simulator? that people are loving, because I see Julian Solomina play it a lot. And there stands Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Okay, so this was, where am I? We're on 500 Lake Road, okay. That's lighter than I thought. So what's this, 86 and she left 22 years ago. So she left in 64? Jesus. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. I don't. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. 
News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Ugh, oh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Look at the cheesecake. Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. It's all Next good. time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay. First off, I love a little like mom and pop diner. I will take that any day of the year, because that'll that's probably gonna be the best food you've ever had. We actually, where I live, we used to have a diner that kind of looked like that. It wasn't from like, you know, it wasn't like a mom and pop place. It was just like a diner someone put in. But man, that... And then it's since left now, but... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go all the way around the lake because I don't have to. We'll just go this way. So what I'll probably do for a lot of this is... I'm sure the driving is going to get redundant, so I'll probably cut out a lot of the driving elements to this. And just kind of pop back in whenever, you know, when we get to a stop. Or if something comes up that I want to talk about, or something that I deem important, which is probably nothing, but... You know how it goes. So... Let's see. But see, this is what I love. Like a tiny little town. Ah, uh, mighty Ambrose River. Oh, hello. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Okay, we're right here. We're good. Like a little town where everything's like right there. A little general store, a little diner. Anything else is right there. That's exactly what I... Love and I don't really live in a big city anymore. Ooh, took that curve too fast. I oh my bad. Sorry, that's my fault. Okay. Is this the house? Hold on, I'm gonna be so confused. Oh no, it's all on Lake Road. Okay. Oh, it's not what I want. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. I'll put that back. Hang on. I think it's all right there. What on earth did these folks order? No, it's not what I want. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What the f Hey, hey, hey! Oh, great. Now the game's broken. Asshole. Anyway. Just because it's a small town doesn't mean people aren't assholes. <laughs> Okay, I got confused. I forgot. See, it's a problem with maps sometimes when you have it like right there on the corner. Oh, you're gonna turn down this road, aren't you? Oh, I fucking knew it. Okay, let's do a Yui. But I'd love to live in like a little town like this, like right on a lake where it's not really anything, nobody's bothering you.
Yeah, okay, now I remember. Okay, E. Okay, let's switch this out. Because this is... Oh, no, this is... Yeah. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh my god, it looks like my house. Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to. Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. <laughs> I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. He's got a life. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Listen, bitch. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Yes, God forbid your adult child have a life of his own. I used to have a dog named Genevieve way back in the day. She's a good girl. In a few days, I won't even need that now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we remember this one because we were just here. Hopefully, the autopilot thing will allow us to happen. Allow it to happen soon, and I won't That's have to. That's lighter than I thought. Yeah. There you go. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Cool. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Oof. Okay. on the road there, so... Oh, we can toggle the radio, too. I don't know... Ooh, God, that bridge. 
Okay, so we need to go. Where was Bear Creek again? Oh look, a covered bridge. <laughs> Right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Okay. Yeah, the first time I played the game, I parked, like, right in front of the, like, on the street in the middle of, right in front of that general store, and it caused a big backup of cars. I guess I hit a glitch or something. There's a new face. Hello. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Mm. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the... Okay. That doesn't sound good. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Am I? Oh God, I swear I'm like getting everything but the actual... There we go. Sorry, I didn't want the sun right in you guys' eyes. Okay. Um. Not good indeed. I'll be on my way. Bye. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, uh, bye. And pardon my French. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Usually when people say that to me, like, oh, I'm sorry for my language, I'm like, oh, please, I married a sailor. <laughs> Plus, growing up in my house is like growing up in an episode of the Osbournes, so... So now we can go back to the post office and be done with our day. And like I said, I'll probably cut out a lot of the driving bits unless something like spectacular happens, which I doubt. But for this first one, we'll just kind of get the idea. Ooh. Oh, these houses are so cute. And they probably bought them for three raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, in a Hershey bar. I do like little lake towns like this where it's not really, not a lot. In fact, I actually recently went back, not too long ago, when I was back up visiting, my grandfather died. I went back up to the old place where my dad grew up, and there's like, it's just so different now. Like, there's a ton of houses built there. It used to be just a few houses here and there. And now all these people have come in to a small Midwestern town with their, you know, these rich people from Chicago. No shade. Shade. I love Chicago, but... They came in and just packed full and like people barely have a yard anymore. My grandparents' old houses are like Hello. Oh. Hi Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, oh I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Give me one margarita. <laughs> I don't think the people who made this um, Or from America because the hang up noise from back then is not that beeping. It's uh, it would have just been the doo like the dial tone. 
and I noticed on the board in the thing, I think instead of money dollars, it was euros, the euro sign. Um, and the mail truck is on the normal side that we drive on here in America, but what a lot of people don't know is mail trucks, the steering wheel is on the other side. So, is on what would probably be the norm in a lot of European places. I don't know. I know it depends on the country. We'll the see. Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? So here we go. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do, with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. Okay, so this is where it starts to get a little complicated. Um, huh. Because this is when you kind of plan out the mail route, which there's no point going right here. Go ahead and get the long part done and then you can go around and get that right before you come back. So that's probably what I'll do. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. Oh, there's not even one over there, so I could just take a right. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Okay, yeah. Let's turn the radio off, because I really don't want it on. It'll probably flag me for copyright anyway. <laughs> Look, that's my house right there. Um, I've never had blueberry pie. I did. We used to have a friend growing up. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? I don't think they ever mentioned them. But um, I had a friend whose dad was like a, like a I guess a chef for a. He owned a restaurant and he used to make this cheesecake that he put this blueberry topping on top of it and it was awesome. Like bills. And yeah, what else is now? Just bills on bills on bills on bills. And it's the holiday season coming up, so there'll be even more of them, won't there? This little old lady here, Miss Jenkins, or whatever fuck her name is. Here you go. Meryl, dear! It's so Meredith. Glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's yep. wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Mortimer? Oh, Jesus. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catatonic. Sorry, heard it when I said it. 
Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna let the kitty suffer. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Jesus. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Mortimer. Silly boy. Okay. Here, Mortimer. I'm gonna put you in the car, hon. I don't want that. What purse did these folks order? Damn it. That's the one thing about this I don't care for is because it'll... Okay. Okay, so hold on. Let me pull up the map. I forgot about this bit. So I have to go all the way around. Anyway. So it's just going to go around the lake. So we'll just go down and follow the road and we'll deliver that one package and then take more, drop more tomorrow off. And then go from there. Mortimer! I'll tell you what, after a while- Ooh, god, I wasn't paying attention. When you have a few pets, those vet bills stack up fast. In fact, this month alone we had- What is it? One, two, three, four. Technically five, because two went at the same time, so five vet visits in a month. Because we have cats, and these cats are kind of getting up there. And, you know, someone needed this, and someone needed that. And, you know, someone needs an update on their shots. And we're trying to be responsible pet owners. And, you know, and all just racks up. And, oh, God, Jesus. Anyway, it all just racks up, and you end up, you know... With a care credit that's just filled to the brim with bills, you know. You're doing everything you can, and you know, it just gets overwhelming. And then, you know, Chris was coming up, and luckily my sisters and I were talking, and we're like, well, let's just not do anything for each other. It's all good, you know. My one sister had a baby not too long ago, and I always say, like, he's our gift. He's so sweet. I love my little nephew. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um... I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Well, as I said. Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, have a nice day. Okay, the computer games in 1986 were not that in. Okay. Oregon Trail Motel. I saw that dialogue, and it's like the Oregon Trail, I'm like, I was thinking the computer game, the Oregon Trail, which I have. I have the new version of it. If anyone would like to see me play that, I haven't even played it myself. Uh, where am I? Oh shit, I'm all the way down there. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just gotta go drop off Mortimer, and then go into town and finish up the mail route, and then I can go back to the post office. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Never been. Hmm. 
never been further west than Chicago, to be perfectly honest with you. Look at that farm. I love that. Can I have that? Can that just be my house? I'd love, like, a nice, like, farmhouse in the, with some acreage where I don't have to see people if I don't want to. Okay. Where are we? We need to go here, yes? Oh, if I pay attention. Peach? Okay, so let's drop this off. Or Mortimer. Not this, Mortimer. Where's this route at here? It's like a little side road. There we go. The thing is, like, the shift is really just a difference of this and this. May, June, July, August. You're not even open in September? Well, I guess you wouldn't be. Because it's getting started. I don't know about Oregon. I don't know how that works. Mr. Mackey? I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... <laughs> oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Um... To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Looks like our kitty Leo. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Oh, speaking of, Leo! Come here, honey. Ready? We have our own little Mortimer. This is Leo. And poor Leo was having some issues. Had to get a tooth pulled. He, um, kept having, like, this, like, runny nose and, like, we were really worried because he had some like blood coming out of his nose and we were worried something bad was really happening and he just had an abscess on this tooth so he had to get a tooth pulled. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. And for the... <laughs> And yes, he is named after Harry Connick Jr.'s character in um, Will and Grace. Well, not exactly. We just named him Leo, and then we called started calling him Leo Marcus, and then that just stuck. <laughs> but um, and he's a senior cat, so you know any kind of thing like that was a cause for concern. You know, we're just glad the, he's had the tooth pulled and he's actually been doing a lot better, so it's all good. I'll take... I will take... Uh, okay, so we need to get up there. God, pay attention. God, I hate driving level. <laughs> driving. It's the only thing about this game is, I think, like I said, I saw someone say something about an autopilot mode. And hopefully that'll come up soon, because I'd love nothing more than to deal with that. Oh. 
Oh, cul-de-sac. Easy peasy. And it's just a couple delivery. It's just mail, right? Here? Yes, so I can do that. Oh my goodness. Cute. Love the porch. I don't love that the houses are so close together, but I don't have to live here. These are cute hmm. little houses. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Okay. Love the tree house in that one yard. That was cute. I always wanted a tree house growing up. We never really had a proper tree to put a tree house in. Bookum Dano. Is that what it says? Jesus. Anyway. Okay. So next up is this one, the Flick Shack. Which sounds filthy. Okay, they have a package, right? Yeah. Back to the present. First of all, I love Back to the Future. When I was visiting my nephew that was on television and he, he and I were hanging out watching it. Ghost Blasters. Let's see how many of these I know. Superman. Welcome to the Flick Shack. The maze. Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Leo, honey, watch out so Thank you, then. when he can get up. Oh, shit. Uh, what? Uh, well, now the audio's cut out. Well, that's shitty. I never had this problem with the demo. For six years. Oh, here we go. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the Sorry, middle of everyone. It. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's, uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm -hmm. Certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie God, at the, the Rocky right Horror time. Picture Show. I can't see mm -hmm. what it's saying there. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. But call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? Never seen it. <sighs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. I'm married and I prefer Ms. <laughs> Alright, I'd check it out if I have Alright, I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay. Maze, obviously, is the labyrinth, or our labyrinth. Uh, back to the present, back to the future, the kung fu kid, the karate kid. Oh, what's that? Oh, blade jogger, blade runner, the brunch bunch. I hate the breakfast club. With What's that? Czarface, not Scarface. High voltage, short circuit, Space Wars, Star Wars. What is that? The Rocky... Th the... Something Thriller photo display. Super... Meh... Meh... Man... Two... Oh... Why they had to do Christopher Reeves like that? Um... Grim Lens, but Grim... The Odd Father... The Bee, instead of the Fly... The Friendly Dead... How... I know that one with the keyhole, but I can't remember... LGM... 19 Candles... 
the thermometer. Never seen 16 candles. Could give a shit to be ghost blasters. Let's see. I can't see what that one says, but I know it's supposed to be flash dance. <sighs> Got a repo woman, a repo man. Jeez. Oh, man. Anyway. Rent or buy VHS or Betamax albums and LPs. Oh, okay. I thought they were albums in there, too. Okie dokie. Oh, God, you took that curb there. Take it easy. mail here. I've actually never seen the Postman Rings twice. I know they did a remake of it in like 81 with Jessica Lange and um, Jack Nicholson. I haven't seen either version. out for you? Jesus. For your driveway. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute! Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted! We're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Mm. Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You 
can say that again. Mm. God. Okay. So what, now we can return to the post office? Cool. I'm trying to remember. Talking the bloody horn. Okay, so here we go. Excuse me. Okay. There it is. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh, let's see. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. <sighs> it's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. Oh. I could just send it to your post office, right? I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> you know what? We will watch the movie because what else have we got to do? Right. Well, let's watch this. That looks like from the cover, a little of the cover, I see that looks like the old school one, not the new one. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Hmm. Let me see one thing real fast here. I just want to see. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, I have been playing for a good hour so and I just so what I'll do in the next one is I will um I gotta real fast is we'll leave this off here for now and then we'll come back and play another game another episode of it uh next we'll come back later and continue on with the story here so Kind of got a good introduction of some people. I'm sure we'll get some other things brought up. And like I said, in newer in the next episodes, I'll probably try to cut out the driving bit as much as possible, unless someone just pops in and says, "Hey, oh well, you know what? I'm just gonna cut out a lot of the driving bits." Because while it is, you don't need to see that. It's a lot of faff for nothing. So we'll probably cut out the driving bits as much as possible, and then uh, just kind of unless something big happens or whatever but we'll just kind of keep it with the interactions between people um anyway thank you all so much for watching be sure to chomp down that like button if you did like it leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already see other videos that i've done i will see you all in the next one